Okay, now I want to study some properties of this quotient ring here, zp of x, polynomials with one variable with coefficient in the ring uh, integers modulo p, the p quotient by this polynomial. Uh, so more formally, let me state it as follows. Let p be a prime number. And consider the polynomial f of x, the polynomial um, x squared, x squared plus 1. So this polynomial here has a polynomial with coefficient in, in z uh, p. Now I want to form the quotient, so I consider the ideal generated by f and denote, say, by rp, the quotient zp of x by this ideal. So another way of writing this ring here in the title, this quotient ring. So I want to prove in particular two things. I claim that, first of all, uh, what is uh, r2, so when p is equal to 2, uh, this is not a field. So um, you may wonder what kind of ring it is, since uh, it is a ring with four elements. Since, of course, uh, in such a quotient where we are quotiented by quotienting by this polynomial x squared plus 1, it is as if we take the original ring zp um, of x and we put x squared equals minus 1, right? Because this polynomial is sent to 0 in the quotient. So the only elements that we have in, in uh, R2 are the scalars, so the element of Z2, 0 and 1, and then we have polynomials of degree 1, which are given by x and 1 plus x, and there are no other elements. So there are four elements. So we, we, we may wonder if this ring is, uh, for example, isomorphic to Z4, a ring with four elements, or two copies of Z2, and this is not the case, so I want to prove this. R2 is not isomorphic to neither Z4 nor two copies of Z2. So two rings um, with four elements, very standard. If you want, this would be a new example of a ring with four elements. And then secondly, I want to show that if P is not 2 and also not congruent to 1, modulo 4, then rp is a field. So for to, to analyze situation one for r2, observe that um, let's consider the polynomial 1 plus x so as a, the class of the polynomial 1 plus x in R2 and so the square of this element would be given by 1 plus x squared plus 2 which is of course modulo 2 would be uh, congruent to 1 plus x squared, but in the quotient. So this is 1 plus x squared mod 2, which is, of course, equal to uh, 0 modulo the polynomial f, since x squared would be equal to minus 1. So in other words, we have here an element which is uh, whose square is zero so it's an nilpotent in particular it's a nilpotent of order two and in particular uh, it's a non-zero nilpotent so uh, r2 is not a field this already proves that r2 is not a field then we can use this 
to observe that, for example, R2 is not isomorphic to two copies of Z2 because an element, say A, B into in the ring Z2 plus Z2, then what, what happens if we square it? So I want to prove that there are no nil potents in Z2. So, uh, well, AB squared, which is just A squared, B squared, suppose suppose this is zero in this ring so the element is zero zero but this then implies that a is zero and b is zero in other words that the element is zero so there are no nil potents in this ring so this concludes this shows already that r2 not isomorphic to this ring. Now in Z4, of course, there are nil potents. For example, 2. 2 squared is equal to 4, which is 0. But we can observe uh, something else that uh, as a field, as a base field of our ring R2, so the base, the base uh, field is Z2, which has characteristic 2. So uh, Let's observe that any uh, any G, any element in uh, R two, so it comes from a polynomial in the original ring before the quotient, but this polynomial has coefficients in Z two. So if I take two G, so the element G plus G, every uh, coefficient of the polynomials. Will be uh, will be zero because we are working modulo two, so this is zero. So elements have uh, additive order zero in our ring R two. Uh, on the other, any element, right? On the other hand, uh, not any element in Z four. For example, the element one has not. Um, so two times one is equal to two, which is not zero. And so we conclude that R2 and Z4 are not isomorphic very quickly. Now I want to show claim number two, and these so in order to show that this RP for such values of P is a field, I will use a lemma, which uh, uh, is a basic lemma that says that in a PID, in a principal ideal domain, so a ring where every ideal is generated by one element, like the polynomial ring in one uh, variable with coefficients in a field then well in such in such a ring if i take the quotient with a prime element then i have a field so we only need to show that for such values of p stated in the in the claim number two uh, the polynomial f of x is irreducible in the original uh, ring Z2, uh, not, sorry, not Z2, but Zp of x. So this is what we need to show. Now, how do we show that this parameter is irreducible? Well, it's a polynomial of, of uh, degree 2. Therefore, if it, if it were reducible it would split into a product of polynomials of degree one so in particular it will have a root in our in the 
as colors, so in Zp. So we suppose that f is reducible, then there would exist a root, also there would exist an element, say, a in Zp, root. Now I claim that uh, such a root then is an element, element of order 4 in, um, in, the group, in the as a multiplicative group, in the multiplicative group. So A as order 4 So let's Let's give it for granted for a second, and then, um, well, if uh, we had such a root, which would be an element of order 4 in the multiplicative group, so this implies that, say, the subgroup generated by this element A as a subgroup of the multiplicative group of Zp, which is Zp minus 0, is a subgroup, uh, well, it would be a subgroup of order 4, so in particular 4, the number 4 divides by Lagrange theorem on groups, on order of groups, then 4 divides the order of this group, which is p minus 1. So, uh, of course, this would be equivalent to having um, to having p congruent to 1 modulo 4. So in the case where this is not true, uh, we just show by this, assuming this claim, that there cannot be a root of f, and therefore f is reducible, and therefore the ring, uh, the quotient ring, the ideal generated by f is a field. So we are just left with proving this claim here. So, uh, of course, if a is a root of f, this means that f of a is zero, uh, and therefore a squared um, plus one is zero in the ring, or if you want, a squared plus one is congruent to zero modulo p. So a squared is congruent to minus one mod p. Now, uh, well, if I square this equation in Zp, I get a power 4 coming to 1 modulo uh, p. And, uh, of course, well, this shows that uh, the order of a is at most Four, but of course, a uh, has not order two. So because a square is congruent to minus one, so the, the the order of a is in fact four, and this proves our claim and concludes this exercise.